So we have Andre, a young man born with Makrosha, had a reconstruction, and he's developed what? Keloids. Keloids. Oh, poor guy. Let me show you a photo. Oh. In simple terms, the keloid is overgrowth of scar tissue. And when you just cut it off, your body says, hey, there's still a wound here and it keeps growing. So it's very hard to excise and not have it grow back again. Can you please send an Andre? Andre. Oh, this guy's tall. Nice Andre. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Andre. Terry DeBro, how are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm his mom. His mom? Malika. Malika. Uh -huh. Dr. Nassif. Dr. Terry DeBro, how are you? Hi, Dr. DeBro. Nice, nice to meet you. Come on in. Yeah. Have a Thank seat you. there. My mom, she was a single mother. We have a very close relationship. She was always encouraging me to just make the most out of a bad situation. I know that it's straining to her to maybe go through another procedure again with the same results. If Dr. Nassif can't fix this, then I'm just gonna have to live with it for the rest of my life. So you were born with a problem with your ears? Yeah. Okay. It was a unique situation when he was born. There's something wrong with his ear. And I'm like, is it something I did? Because no, I worked in a nothing. pharmacy. It's like, was it a medicine I was probably exposed to before? Okay, listen, listen to me. Uh-huh. You had nothing to do with this. Okay. It just happened. So Because I always blame myself. Them? Yeah. I mean, there's not one specific reason why my crochet occurs. Hmm. So Thank you. if you've ever had any guilt. I did. Which has nothing to do with you. My crochet could be a congenital thing, or it could be environmental. Many factors can cause this, but you can't really pick out one specific factor. The Children's Hospital referred me to a doctor, and he examined him. He's like, we can't do any surgery until he's five. Mm -hmm. So we waited until he was five. That was the worst surgery, because they had to get cartilage from his do rib. Do you remember it? I do, yeah. I just remember I was in pain. How old were you when you got the keloid? Nine or eight, I would say. He was like, Mom, I don't want any more surgeries. Mm. But now, if you can see, it's like literally growing over mm -hmm. his ear to where it's covering some of his ear. And I can tell this bothers you just as much as it bothers him. Definitely. No matter how much people say that they don't look at the outside, they do. And they judge you by that.